Can you hear me? Can you hear me running? Can you hear me running? Can you hear me calling you? That song just popped into my head in Time Saints as soon as I hit play. I was not planning on singing that. And if y'all have been following this channel more than a couple years, y'all know that's the song I got directly from heaven, from the Most High, after my dad passed. And I'm feeling a strong connection with the Most High God right now. Just coming on briefly. I'm sorry, again, no picture. Hopefully y'all can at least hear it. My laptop is being hacked into, and uh, I have to prop it up on pillows or a table and sit on the floor and yell into the microphone to get this out. So I'm trying my best to warn y'all what's going on, okay? Today is January 7th, 2022. This is a high alert, red alert day. If you have pets, children, get them inside. I should have come on earlier, but I was just so exhausted. And to be honest, I forgot about it when I woke up. I should have warned about it yesterday, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm doing my best. It's about seven o'clock. So um, they usually don't start doing these evil satanic rituals and sacrifices until midnight. So hopefully y'all are hearing this before midnight. Get your pets and get your your children inside. Know where they're at, at least. Um, make sure they're not going out into the satanic festivities because it's not only, again, a full moon, which started yesterday. Um, witches and Satanists, they will do rituals and celebrations three days before and then on the full moon up until three days after is like they're when the... Uh, the powers of the moon, I guess, can be called on more. I'm not a witch, so I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> but what I do know is the open scroll, which is a, a calendar that I use to be on alert and be doing extra prayer, not only for myself, but for all of y'all, the end time saints, all persecuted, anointed individuals, all angels on the front lines for Yeshua, as well as all those um, that are being um, held against their will for what tonight is, which is a satanic ritual night, okay? It's evil. It is called Saint Weinbald. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's spelled W-I-N-E-B-A-L-D, okay? And what the freaks do, the Satanists and the witches and the voodoo practitioners, oh my, all workers of the dark side, um, they sacrifice animals and humans. But they go a step farther today. They also dismember them, okay? And if human today, they prefer males right but for animals it can be either one um coming up in a few weeks is going to be one that they're preferring females okay i'll tell you all about that later i'm trying to make this under 10 minutes so it can upload as quick as possible all right so that's going on then um double the sick freak show power that these freaks get all i can use is the word freaks just beyond belief how evil some of these creatures are. Um, but it's coupled with the full moon. So just be on alert for that. Be in prayer. Please be praying for all the captives to be set free that are being held against their will or are going to be, um, what do you call it? Kidnapped, I guess. Um, also, speaking of that, I have a fire chief it's a woman, and if y'all if y'all remember the person that set me up the last time, this, this makes two times. Um, the cop that was the main instigator of it was a woman, so they like to sick the woman, woman, the women's on me. They sick the women's on me. Anyway, um, she's now parked outside. She's been outside since yesterday. Um, and then I've got a white van down by the river, um, unmarked 
white van looks brand new a box van with dark tinted windows can't see in it never saw anybody get out or get back in blocking my door that's been there since last night probably right after dark they pulled up but i never saw anybody get out so they could be sitting in the back so um if y'all could keep me in prayer too i'm not scared at all i'm ready to get out of this his out but i'm just saying keep me in prayer as well as pray for all your brothers and sisters in Christ because we are being persecuted and hunted. Okay, so that's going on. But the other thing that's going on is um, DeSantis, Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, um, declared a state of emergency. I just found out about this just now. Hadn't been online since yesterday. And um, he declared it, I think, sometime yesterday afternoon state of emergency for florida he has dispatched the national guard and military troops and they're going or they are already in the keys around miami and then throughout florida but they're mainly sent to the florida keys where i used to live in key west i mean key west and miami okay and what he says they're sending them down for is because there's too many migrants coming in on ships from cuba and they landed in the keys and it honestly it looked like key west it looked like where i had a dream um a year ago in july so a year and a half ago actually um about an invasion from land and sea i'm going to try to find that video and link it okay because i feel that this is what i was seeing so the they were coming in on ships five different times not five migrants five ships filled with migrants and the ship they showed looked like a huge ocean liner but i noticed it was black with you guessed it a red lettering and uh, the number of the ship was 207 could that possibly signify one month from today this is our 30 day warning. I don't know. I'm just saying. So they shipped them again once they got into the Keys. And it looks like, again, where I thought in the dream, I thought this could have been. Um, and they took them from there because there was an influx of them and the Keys couldn't handle it. The Keys only have like 200 cops because there's not that many people that live down there. It's a little bitty island. If y'all don't know, I lived in Key West for several years, and it's only four miles long by two miles wide. So, but so they shipped them to Dry Tortuga, which is a state park, and they've closed the park. This looks like what I saw in my dream. I will try to find. I only saw one um, YouTube video, a real short video, and then I I typed it in just to double double check and sure enough i found a news channel because i don't watch tv television but um i found it on youboo for um, a florida news channel documenting it that's where i saw the ship that said 207 i will link that as well um but where they showed them all sitting down um in the in the news clip looks like the dream it's a rock wall. I didn't know what I was looking at because I've never been to Dry Tortuga Park. I do know, I'm pretty sure that's where a naval base is as well. So this all coincides with the dream I had about invasion by land and sea. And they were coming in with ships and it looked like our military, but they were sellouts. Okay. So like I said in several other videos, we have been invaded from within, okay? We're, we're already invaded. We're already in World War III, World War Z, zombie apocalypse. By the way, the zombies are on full force. Man, there's some mind-controlled minions and some that have turned. There, you know what, has been changed by the shot in the dark and y'all to blame. And uh, there are serpents, seed of the serpent. So it's, it's a blessing, you TIs. Um, or should I call us anointed individuals that we have been made isolated because we are being protected from these, the freaks come out at night. 
So again, just sharing all that. Also, um, they agree to do a sacrifice on the Temple Mount for Passover. This is huge. A live sacrifice. They're saying it's an animal, but whatever. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, paid the price for yours and my sins when he died on the cross and he rose on the, and on the third day, he's coming back in the clouds, right? He paid the price already. We're not to do sacrifices. So this is huge. I believe this marks the Antichrist about to be revealed. Um, what else? Also, the dream I had that I just had maybe within the last three weeks where I saw Seattle and I saw, I didn't know the name of the, of the building. Why don't you just tell me the name of the building? Okay, I will. I didn't know the name of the building I was seeing in the dream, but Brother Chris, shout out to you. He told me the name of it. It's called the, let me see, the Seattle Space Needle. And it looks like a needle. Well, what does that remind you of? Shot in the dark, and y'all to you blame. They give us signs and symbols. They mock. And only those, the remnant, those that have been called by the Most High God and chosen, the AKA targeted, empowered, anointed individuals, we're the only ones that can see this stuff. But anyway, that dream I had where I felt Seattle was about to be hit, well, it's now coming to fruition where on New Year's Eve, which is a huge ritual night, I told y'all not to participate in any of their fake phony hella days, but they were all gathered around the Space Needle, and it showed the Space Needle with like mock explosions, meaning fireworks. That is huge. Also, I heard that um, in New York, which we know is also another on the hit list, right? Um, New York celebrated New Year's Eve, and when they had the ball drop, the ball lit up, and then there was fireworks around it, but the 2023 did not light up. It stayed dark. Um, a brother in Christ made a video about this. His channel is called Logic Before Authority. I watch him from time to time. I don't watch videos unless Father tells me to. And this one popped up and I watched it. And he showed where, in his video, where it was not lit up. Now it's lit up. So they've altered what you can find out about it online. And I believe, as he does, Brother Daniel is his name. Shout out to you, brother. Um, that it signified going dark which also goes along with my dream I had about a week, week, week and a half ago, um, where I saw Elon Musk's face and he was laughing, an evil laugh. And I knew there was other high ups, could have been uh, Ill Bill in the crew. The gates of hell shall not prevail. I, I didn't see anyone else's face or I can't remember it, but I saw his face. And then he's laughing an evil laugh and then everything goes dark. Then I realize I'm above the earth. I believe I'm in angelic form, which is a, a symbolic of our glorified body. And I'm looking down and I'm witnessing the New Madrid fault line, which I have to, happen to be right by. And I know some of y'all are also. End time saints! We're on the crack! Clickety clack! Oh! Sprinkle some crack on! All right. But <laughs> getting serious now. Um, I saw the New Madrid fault line breaking, which goes up by Memphis, Tennessee, goes goes down to um, Tennessee and into Georgia, and it goes around and will be washing out New Orleans, where I lived for years and years. Had a special place in my heart for that city, but it's under judgment for all the wicked, the voodoo and the Satanism and the corrupt cops and all the corrupt uh, government and the the uh, sacrificing of the children and all the wickedness and darkness and the uh, Jezebel spirit and the, uh, you know, all the drunkenness and all that, the revelry under heavy judgment as well. It will be washed out to sea. Florida will also be underwater. I've been shown that multiple times. But this dream I had 
um, about a week and a half ago. Like I said, it was Elon Musk laughing an evil laugh, and everything went black. Then I believe I was possibly the symbolized being raptured. Then I'm above the earth looking down. I see the New Madrid fault line breaking. And then I see over by California the, um, what do you call it, Cascadia fault line breaking. The tectonic plates, I'm sorry, I can't talk. Tectonic plates <laughs> um, were shifting. And all the fault lines throughout the world are going to break and connect into one huge crack. And the crack will open the earth up like you've broken an egg. Okay. So I saw that. I believe that's going on or is about to go on. No one knows the day or the hour. I just feel like all this, it's going to happen like dominoes is what I keep being shown. Okay. But once they do the sacrifice on the Temple Mount for Passover in Israel, that is huge. I believe that's when the Antichrist is going to be on the scene. Um, so heads up for Florida. This could be the invasion I saw. And what else? Oh, Seattle. The Space Needle thing. So I saw that in a dream. I didn't know the building, but I described it. I knew it was Seattle, and Brother Chris reminded me that that's what it was. And they're showing um, in Seattle for New Year's, they showed a light display. And it had a, it was very satanic. It was a ritual. It had a crescent moon and a sun, like the Egypt, Egyptian crescent moon and sun on top. So everything is coming into place. Also, I had an attempt on my life again. They uh, did something with the carbon monoxide. This makes about the, I don't know, fifth, sixth time that they've done this. But Father protected me, all praise to the mo most high, but I believe possibly because they orchestrated it to happen in the nighttime while it was asleep. So it would have been today, early this morning. And Father warned me. And all praise to, to the Most High that he protected me. But I believe that the uh, the freak show was trying to take me out. And that could be why the uh, the white van down by the river and the fire woman have been camped outside the house. And uh, I actually got a video, but I won't show y'all now. Because as you can see, the camera on the laptop isn't working. But I will be getting... I will be... Uh, getting something and being able to show y'all, okay? So prayers for everybody. Please pray for all those that are being held against their will, um, including all the babies, all the pets, all even birds, whatever they're doing, um, as well as the people and children that are being held, being abused, being tortured to build up the pain and build up the energy for that adrenochrome that they create for this ritual night prayers that these captains are are going to be supernaturally released in yeshua's name and all those gathered around these evil altars and doing these evil satanic rituals will be blown up by fire in yeshua's mighty name unless they drop their divination tools repent 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 and turn to yeshua and free those children pets and people and babies that they are planning on harming. That is their only hope. If not, the Most High God is going to be striking all these workers of iniquity dead. This is not a joke. He's, he's not giving any more chances. What I believe, time is up. Okay? And that could be symbolic of why I saw Elon Musk. The only dream I've ever had with him it is because he talks about time travel and we're in a simulation. The egg is cracking, the earth is cracking, and uh, the matrix is breaking, and we're going to be set free, as in rapture. If you accept Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, into your heart, you turn from your wicked ways, you repent, 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 and you follow him. You give up everything of the world, everything. And anyone that is a denier of Yeshua is our enemy. We pray for them. We don't hate them. We don't treat them bad. But you need to get yourself 
away from anyone that is not following Yeshua HaMashiach. This is for your own protection, okay? Father's telling me this. Some of y'all need to break ties with the enemy's camp immediately. We don't have much more time. All right, and regulators for Yeshua HaMashiach, again, we're being anointed. We're being given supernatural power and ability, and uh, you should have no fear and be ready to regulate. I'm out.